Hello, welcome to the module number uh, number 10 of the course about GIS for municipality management. At uh, this uh, model, we are going to uh, speak about how to manage the uh, geographic in the information geographic information that we have in a card and uh, how to export it uh, to a GIS. Uh, mo uh, many of the municipalities uh, have a lot of information in a CAD format. So uh, we are going to see how to export this information. At the first uh, video of the, of the course, we spoke about uh, how uh, the, differ the main differences between CAD and GIS. And now we are going to see uh, the, uh, these differences in this, uh, in this video. So firstly, we are going to create a new view and we are going to change the properties. We are going to change the current projection. The reference system of this new view will be 20 root, 20 root uh, 49. So 22, we are going to access to EPSG. So double two, 49. We press enter. And there's only one, uh, only one reference system with this code. So we press OK. Here we have the reference system. And after accepting, we have this reference system. And we are going to load a, a DXF a file. I have to tell you that uh, the CAD formats are closed. So we have to take them into account. There are several uh, entities that we can load uh, with problems. So the best format that GBC uh, loads is the DXF2000. Uh, so you have a DWG, you can export it, you can convert, convert uh, this, uh, this file to DXF2000. And uh, GBC uh, loads these kind of files uh, better than the other ones. So I'm going to add a new layer and at model number 10, we have a DXF. It's a DXF of the town of Cambridge in, United, in USA. So I have, I'm going to open it. Uh, we doesn't have the PRJ uh, file, uh, so we don't know the reference system, but I can tell you that the reference system of this file is uh, this one. So it's correct. I'm going to accept. And here we have the DXF file. We have three types of entities, point, line, and polygon. And if we open the attribute table, we put the uh, active, the, the layer active, we can open the attribute table here, show attribute table. We can see the fields available in a, a CAD format, in a CAD file. We have the ID, we have the type of entity, polyline or polygon or point or text. We have the layers. This is the name of the layer in the CAD format in when where uh, when we open it in a in a cat uh, in a cat application, so we have the different uh, layers in uh, the cat application. We have the color, elevation, thickness, text, the height of the text, and rotation of these uh, texts. So uh, there isn't uh, a lot of information about uh, our entities. Uh, this is a cat format. But in a GIS, as you can, uh, could see in the, previ in the previous uh, models, we could see that, that we could create a lot of uh, fields. Uh, for example, the owner, the area, the length, uh, etc. So where I go first of all, we uh, want to get the parking slots of this area in Cambridge. So we have the parking slots in the layer uh, field. We can see here that the, par the parking slots are in 
in this uh, field. So we are going to apply a filter. The select, uh, selection by attribute, we can press this option and the layer, double click, is and we are going to look for parking slots, this one. Double click and we press new set. We are going to close this window and we are going to access to the uh, to the view. I'm going to change the only the the color uh, for the polygons with transparency in order to see in a better way the uh, parking slots. You can see in yellow color the selection of the parking slots and if I open the attribute table we can see that there are several parking slots or I can choose this option move selection move up move up selection and here we have the 104 parking slots in this area in Cambridge we're going to export this uh, selection to a new uh, file. In this case we are going to export it to a shapefile because the shapefile is a GIS uh, format and we can add more information at the attribute table. So we are going to export the parking slots to a shapefile. Well, we have to go to layer export to or secondary button and export to we select shape format, we press next, we are going to choose the name of the, of the new layer, so here, here, and I'm going to, to call it a Cambridge Parkings, for example. We're going to open it, the encoding, UTF-8, we're, press, we're going to press next, the reference system, the same than the view, we press next, only selected records, because we only have to export the parking slots, and then we press export. We're going to add the layer to the view, and we have uh, three uh, windows, three messages because we uh, the original uh, layer had points uh, lines and polygons and now we have polygons lines and points the shape file is only one uh, only can have at one type of uh, of entity so we have the polygons that are the uh, the entities that we want. So we are going to open the attribute table of the lines. The lines of the parking slots are several. Uh, I'm going to close this the DXF file, and here we have the different entities. For the lines, we only have this type of entities inside the uh, the polygons so we w uh, and we doesn't have uh, for the point layer we doesn't have any any entity so i uh, we only want the polygon layer so we are going to delete this layer the point and line and line layers and we only want the polygons that are the parkings at this area in Cambridge. Well, uh, for the shape files, uh, this is a shape file, and for the shape files, we can uh, insert, we can add the area of the different polygons. If you remember, we can show the attribute table, and we have only the, the fields of the DXF file. So we can access to table, 
administer an area and a new field with the area has been included has been added at this uh, table so we have uh, only when with in uh, in two seconds we can uh, get all the areas of the different parkings parking slots in uh, this area in in cambridge well we also can create a uh, new new fields or new polygons and we are going to uh, we are going to start editing in this uh, in this uh, new layer we are going to start editing and we are going to create a new uh, field at the attribute table so i'm going to open the, ta the table the attribute table and from table add column or uh, the column manager and i'm going to add a new field in this case the new field will be park space that will be the number of uh, parks uh, of park spaces in the in each uh, in each parking parking slot so this field uh, we only have to put to write uh, no more than 10 characters so we can see uh, 10 characters and no spaces we have to use uh, this kind of of character and for uh, we are going to select uh, the integer because we want to get the number of uh, parking spaces in this in each uh, in each parking slot so integer the length uh, for example uh, four because it's a short uh, number and we are going to accept we have this uh, new field and we are going to fill it fill it in with the uh, the number of, of park spaces in each uh, parking slot so uh, we can get uh, in general uh, each parking space uh, has 25 square meters uh, more or less so we can divide the area of each parking slot between 25 to get the number of park spaces in each uh, parking slot so we are going to select the field then we are going we are going to open the field calculator and we are going to get the area the air area field and dividing and 25 so we press accept and we have select we have the number of park spaces in each uh, in each parking slot we had we selected uh, the type of field uh, the, uh, was integer so we have uh, integer number uh, only integers uh, for each uh, parking slot we can access to this one this is a big parking slot for example this one too but the smallest ones uh, we can see here this is a small parking slot well we also can create new uh, polygons if we have a for example we have another layer under this one we can create with the uh, cambridge parking slot uh, the parkings we are going to create a new polygon for example if we have this this parcel double click or we have this parking slot uh, this one we are going to select it this one we have uh, two different parking slots or 
only the half uh, part uh, a new parking slot so we are going to cut to select the split geometry and then with the line we're going to cut we have two different polygons and this part for example we are going to remove it with this with this tool we ca we have this uh, new parking slot uh, smaller than the other one and this new uh, parking slot if we open the attribute table we have new uh, new values so this is a new uh, a new polygon and this is the other one so we have to to uh, update that information so we only we have to and select to clear selection to complete the area again and we are going to do it from the field calculator we're going to select field, cal field calculator and we are going we are going to write area and at this way we accept and we can see that uh, almost all the registers are the same but here we have two new values because they are two new uh, polygons and we ha also have to to select this, uh, these uh, registers to complete the number of park space if we use the field calculator with selected elements the only the selected elements are filled uh, with the field calculator so we are going to press field cal calculator area dividing 25 we accept and here we have the, the new number of park spaces in this parking slot and this new parking slot with the the correct number of uh, park spaces so we can see that we can manage a lot of information in a GIS we can uh, select for example the parkings the parking slots with more than a concrete area that that uh, we couldn't do in an easy way in a CAD so in, in a GIS we can work in an easy way with all the information the alphanumer alphanumeric information in an easy way okay so uh, with this last uh, tool we are going to finish this video and we are going to uh, continue with the next one see you at the next video